Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Leslie and I do all kinds of videos for my channel. And for today's video, let me tell you, it's going to be a good one, you guys. I am a Starbucks fan, and if you're here, you probably love Starbucks just as much as I do. And I'm taking advantage that my baby is sleeping. Now that I have a little baby, I don't get to go to Starbucks all the time, guys, because it's a struggle trying to get the baby in the car and all that. Trust me, if you have kids, you know what I'm saying. And also Starbucks is kind of far for me. So I decided to do my top two favorite things from Starbucks that I love eating for breakfast because I need something to eat right now. It's lunchtime. So I'm going to be doing a caramel macchiato, my version at home. And also, um, if you love the spinach feta wrap from Starbucks, it is so good. And I went ahead and bought everything to try making it on my own. I've made it before, but honestly, it doesn't give me that same taste. So I found a recipe online that I want to try to make. If you see all this mess over here, it's mom life. Ignore that, you guys. Um, like I said, the baby was playing earlier right here in this little mat and he went down. So I took advantage and decided to set up to film. And I'm sorry if it's super bright. I have my ring light right here because it's really ugly and gloomy today. And if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. It means a lot to me, you guys. And let's go ahead and get on to this video. Okay, you guys. So, real quick, let me just share. I know the ring lights over here, but ignore that. <laughs> let me go ahead and just share the ingredients like this, just because I'm trying to hurry up. So we're gonna need some egg whites and here I just have some regular eggs. I'm gonna take out the yolk, that way we can do the egg white mixture. And some baby spinach. All the ingredients, you guys, I got them at Kroger's, except the tortillas, I got them at Sam's. I'll share it with you which ones I got. I got some baby spinach. Recipe I saw online asked for cream cheese, which I don't know if the Starbucks one has cream cheese or not, but we're gonna try it out. So some whipped cream cheese, this is the one I already had in the fridge, and then some feta cheese. Then the start of the show, sun-dried tomatoes. These taste so, so good, you guys. And they last a good while in the fridge. So then the tortillas to make our wraps. I got these at Sam's, and the reason why I get them at Sam's is because one, that's where I find them, and two, I like to get them in bulk because these tortillas are perfect for wraps and I make wraps for, for myself and for my husband a lot for lunch. He loves when I make them wrapped. So for today's breakfast, we're going to be using these bad boys. And they're only 100 calories per tortilla. It is a lot, but not really, you know, so it's going to be super filling. And this one has omega-3s and flax seed, which is awesome for breastfeeding moms and also fiber. So these are the tortillas that I like to use. You can use any tortillas that you like. Oh, also ignore my pinky, you guys. I actually pulled off my nail and like you can see like my skin, it hurts a lot. So we're gonna... let's start cooking. So to start off with this recipe, you guys, so we're gonna be wilting down some spinach in this clip here. I started with half the bag and I thought it was going to be a lot, but you know with spinach, you start off with a lot and it ends up to hardly anything. So I ended up using the whole bag later on just to make more than one wrap. And then I also got together my egg whites and all I did was remove the yolks from the eggs and I kept the yolks to feed them to my dog. Yolks are really good for their coat. So if you have dogs, give them to the dog or if you're going to keep them for another recipe, you can do that. But um, that's all I did with mine. I think I used about five eggs to get a good amount of scrambled egg whites. If you could buy the containers, I'm sure that's better. But for some reason, I feel like I used a lot more eggs to get a good amount of egg whites. So then I seasoned my spinach with some salt and pepper and garlic salt, I think, um, just to give it flavor. I didn't really um, season it too much just because I didn't want to over overpower anything i was trying to keep it minimal for this recipe that i had seen online so now i'm just gonna let it wilt keep wilting and then that's when i decided to add more because i felt like it was hardly any spinach Thank you. 
once I added in the sun-dried tomatoes I just chopped them up as much as I could and I think I added about maybe six to seven sun-dried tomatoes I started with a little bit and then I added in more just because I I really like sun-dried tomatoes and so does my husband so I went ahead and made sure that we were able to have a lot and the recipe that I had found online you guys said to add in cream cheese and at first I was a little skeptical about this but I was like you know what let me go for it and I think that would have been good with just two scoops I did three um, if you're gonna try this out just start with a little bit because it, the spinach made it taste really really good but I think I put a little bit too much. So next time I'm going to make these. And let me tell you guys. By the way, these went like so quick. I ate one that day. My husband ate some for work. And he told me they were so good. You guys, he even left me a little note in the morning. Because he loved them so much. And that was just so sweet. So please try these out. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook the egg whites. As you saw, I just added in the cream cheese mix it together with the spinach and sun-dried tomatoes and let it kind of just melt together and i already have the tortillas warming up on the comal and i'm just gonna cook the egg whites scramble them i was gonna try to do it like starbucks does like a little torta de, de um huevo but for some reason i never can do it like i i can make omelets but it took me a while to learn how to make them honestly um, so I just ended up just doing the egg whites, just like regular scrambled eggs. So now when they're cooked, you are ready to assemble your wrap and you start by adding in your spinach and cream cheese and dried tomatoes on the bottom. And then you can add in some feta cheese, your egg whites on top, and we're just going to seal it like a burrito. I've done these before and I would I had even added bacon I've added turkey slices just to make it a little bit more filling but this time like I said I wanted to keep it as close as possible to the Starbucks one and honestly you guys this recipe was just as good it's so so good I think next time I, I want to try adding maybe some Italian seasoning see how that tastes and also adding in some maybe red pepper flakes for a more spicier kick and yeah these heated up really well I just like to seal mine up on the comal I ended up making I want to say four of these or three I don't remember if it was four or three but I just turned them into these little burritos and they froze really well as well so I'm definitely going to be making more of these in the future because my husband really liked them and so did I so I hope you guys try these out and let me know if you do Now for the caramel macchiato, I started off with some ice in my mason jar, some leftover coffee that I had in the fridge, and it is a super strong coffee, you guys. So you can do creamer, you can do milk. At Starbucks, I know they use whole milk, but I like to add in almond milk to mine. So you do about 70% milk. And since I didn't have the vanilla syrup, I added a splash of creamer and then you pour your coffee on top and that's what's going to give you the um, caramel macchiato look. Drizzle with some caramel on top and enjoy you guys. This is so good. Food is done. We got our caramel macchiato right here. Our spinach feta wrap. If you hear music in the background, my son woke up from his nap. So gotta be a mom and also eat. 
now that he's entertained for a little bit he's just playing on the floor with some stuff with little games he's learning to sit up you guys it is so cute but mom is hungry i am starving i need this lunch so here is my caramel macchiato so good my yes my well as you can see it has the coffee just sits on top of the milk so and the caramel so i'm gonna just stir it up and it's that coffee i had already made in the fridge like it's super strong i use uh folgers black silk i think this time around mm. so delicious you guys definitely try it at home if you have an espresso machine obviously do the espresso it's gonna come out so much better i don't have an espresso machine um so i just do super strong coffee and i double it up and it tastes really really good to me it gives me that kick i need and with the caramel and the milk and seeing the pretty mixture it gives me the vibe of a caramel macchiato from starbucks mm. And obviously Starbucks uses, um, I think, whole milk. I think Starbucks uses whole milk and espresso. So you can do that if you have that, like I said, if you have that available at home. I personally don't like milk, like whole milk. So that's why I use almond milk. It tastes just as fine. Or if you don't want to do milk, you can do like half milk and half creamer, like vanilla creamer. They also add vanilla in there. I forgot to tell you guys. But all I did was just add uh, vanilla almond milk. So that was just as good. I've been letting my um, wrap kind of cool down because I had it in the comal. I like it in the comal because it seals the wrap. As you can see, it seals it. Girl, my nails, they need help. <laughs> it seals the wrap. But anyways, let's take a bite because it looks so good and I'm hungry. Mmm. Okay. This is really good. I think I may have gone a little overboard with the cream cheese but definitely definitely the cream cheese was needed in here because remember i told you guys that i've made these before and i felt like something was missing like it didn't taste right this is this tastes exactly like the one from starbucks with the cream cheese in there wow mm. you guys this is so good. I just need sriracha because I like to add sriracha to mine. So I'm going to add chili and finish eating this. If you enjoyed my favorite hacks from Starbucks at home, um, don't forget to give me a like. If you're going to try making this, let me know how it goes. Tag me on my Instagram. I will put my Instagram right here. It is Leslie's Blushing. I love when you guys send me pictures and videos and snacks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like I said, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.